Boy, on the road seems to be the theme for country singers. They've all got gigs on the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. What about you? You going to travel at all? I'm going to stay home and let somebody else barbecue. Really? Yeah, I'll bring some potato salad. I can salad come to your place. Bar. I'm pretty good with the grill. <laughs> I'm pretty good with potato salad. We're, we're a team. When you do travel, is there any one place that you would desperately like to see once in your life? Um, uh, um, we were talking about Thailand. Thailand. On camera. I'm now wanna, I now want to go to Thailand. I talked to her in Thailand. Well, we've, got, <laughs> we've got someone who's been to Thailand and many other places. Michael Clinton. He has visited over 120 countries across all seven continents. And through his travels, he's gained a lot of insight on how to get the most out of your journey. And they're all in his new book, The Globe Trotter Diaries. Good to have you with Good us. Good morning. Nice to Good see you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, we were joking during the break. I'm going to ask you the question. You know, I'm sure you get it all the time. Do you have a favorite place? If you had to pick one. You know, it, it's, it's tough, but I guess if I had to pick one, I would probably say Italy. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've been all over the place and all sorts of exotic destinations. But, you know, Italy has it sort of all in one place. You know, fantastic food, great history, great culture, great people, great cities, you know, a great spirit. So I've been uh, to Italy 72 times. Wow. Oh. And um, so I know it pretty well you know, in a lifetime. Right. And I've been all over the country. And every time I go, I'm like, I could go back again and again. For a first time traveler to Italy, where should they go? Let's say I've got my two weeks vacation as an American. Where do, what do I do? To two see weeks, it? I'd say go to the classics, Rome first, you know, do mm -hmm. Rome, then go up to Florence, maybe Venice. Yeah. Uh, maybe a side trip into Tuscany because, you know, Americans especially know, know Tuscany so well. Right. So. I just I'd want to get on a plane that. right now. I just well, want to, I want to borrow some of your frequent flyer miles. <laughs> there you go. Where are the best places to go if you're taking a family, like family-oriented places? You know, I think the uh, the Southwest in America is a mm. fantastic place. You know, we did a family trip. We we flew to Phoenix and then we drove north and we ended up uh, in you know southern Utah, in Moab, you know Santa Fe, New Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, Monument Valley, the Four Corners. The kids can lay on all four all four corners the and four put, states all at once. Exactly, four <laughs> yeah. states in once. Uh, Grand Canyon. It's a great family destination. Mm -hmm. And it's affordable Southwest. because it's domestic, which affordable, is really nice. Drive. You've got some tips I'd love to hit yeah. because I think they'll be really useful for folks at home. Aim for the first flight out in the morning when you're traveling. Why is that? You know, that 4 a.m. wake-up call is brutal. Oh. I, I, I admit it. But um, usually what happens is, you know, the airport's been sleeping overnight. So all the planes are there, the planes that are coming in, the crews are there, there's no backlogs. You know, you get through security pretty quickly. And generally, those first flights out are getting out with any delays, especially if you have connections all in right. other cities. Ah, you want to get out there early. Uh, when you get to a destination, you say, and I love this tip because I've done it a couple of times, rent an apartment mm -hmm. or at least consider it instead right. of just getting a hotel. Why is that? Well, you know, it always sounds expensive to people. Gee, how can I rent an apartment for a week in Paris or rent a house in Italy or pick your place? But when you do the math and you actually write it all down, and especially if you're going with a big group with family or friends and you divide it all up, it's actually less expensive. And, you know, I always say go like a local. Mm -hmm. So when you live in an apartment or a house when you're someplace, you know, you're not sort of surrounded by hotel personnel mm. who send you to the hotel restaurants right. that are touristy. Yeah. You know, you get to know the locals, you go to local places, you visit local restaurants. It's a deeper, richer experience. Uh, speaking of deeper and richer, another tip that you have is to not plan everything out. I'm a planner. I like yeah. to go, where am I going to do at 10? Right. What am I going to do at 12? You're saying leave space and time to explore. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a planner too, but because uh, we're all busy lives. But I say take a day and just roam a city. Don't even take your camera. Just walk around and see what there is, absorb it, look at all the corners, watch everything. And then maybe you can go back and take photographs if you like a particular place. But mm -hmm. We're too programmed in our everyday lives that we need some freedom, even mm -hmm. if it's a week's vacation. You know, take a day or two uh, if you're traveling somewhere just to not have any agenda for the day. It's good. Have a little vacation, your vacation. Yeah. Michael, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Really Great good stuff. Here. You can find all this information and a whole lot more in the Globetrotter Diaries. We will be right back.